Today, Kevin is going to do a blind taste test, and I'm going to be trying them too, but I'm just not going to be blind. We can't both be blindfolded. Uh, <laughs> that'd be interesting. Yeah, that, that, that'd be a cool video, wouldn't it? Uh, we're going to do a blind taste test Oreo compared to, these are Rip Van Leo's, and these are Newman's own, original. Yeah. And Newman's. then... Huh? Numino's. Numino's. And then Kevin has <laughs> original Oreos. So let me give you the prices. Um, the the uh, Rip were $5.99. Uh, Rip Van Leo's were $5.99. And it is a 6.77 ounce box. The Newman's own were $5.69. And it is a 13 ounce box. <laughs> So six ounces, thirteen okay. ounces, and then the Oreo. Those were bought at Good Foods Co-op, which is probably gonna be a little. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive. Uh, the Oreos were four nineteen at Meyer. Thirteen point two nine ounces. So, so thirteen. Okay, thirteen point two nine, and these were four nineteen, and then the new ones were five sixty nine. Yeah. So. Okay. But a dollar of that price difference is probably just for the co-op by itself. Yeah, that's true. So uh, let me give you the difference in calories because uh, we wrote that down too. The uh, Rip Van Leo's are 55 calories each. The Newman's Own are 65 calories each. The Oreos are 53 calories each. So out of all three of these, the Oreos are actually Let's the go. lowest calorie. The Newman's Own are 65 calories a cookie. So, really sweet. Um, so let's see where they're made. These are made in Spain. Oh. Uh, Rip Van Leo's made in Spain. Newman's own are made in Westport, uh, produced exclusively for Newman's own in Westport, Connecticut, which that doesn't surprise me at all. And the Oreo are uh, made in Mexico. So Spain. Mexico, USA. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to, I think, is that all the information we need to yeah. know? Yeah, I don't want to see them because one might be bigger or thicker or something like that. Together. Yeah. I don't want to. So hey, Kevin's going to be blindfolded from here on out. And then what I do, if you've never watched one of our blind taste tests, I'm going to take them all out and put them on the plate. And then I'm going to point to the one. Oh. That's cool. So these are individually, uh, yeah, it says four packs. So there's, they're in these. So, uh, and then I'll point to the package of the one that I'm going to give to Kevin because we don't, we don't want him to know. So, uh, and then I will, at the end of the video, I will actually have a close up. So you will get to see, um, you will get to see what it looks like close up. Now, let's see if the Newman Zone has one of those tear things. Yeah, those are nice. It does not. No, it does not have one of those. Uh, Still back. Huh? No, it doesn't have that. Okay, so I'm gonna use, I could open it. I'm gonna use, uh, with my fingers, I'm gonna use scissors. Okay. I don't want to comment on anything that I'm mm. I'm noticing because um, can't say anything. Yeah, I don't want to comment on anything because um, I don't want to give anything away. Okay, now the Oreo definitely. All righty. So Kevin's not gonna know which one he's getting. No, car. no clue. I don't know where you're even at. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go with I'd be really surprised if that wasn't the Oreo. Although that feels like the Oreo too. Hmm. 
No, that's the Oreo. Watch them, neither one be the Oreo. <laughs> neither one of them are the Oreo. I tell you what, they all feel very basically the same. This one might be just a little bit smaller. Definitely not the Oreo. Mm. No. I'll try to keep on again. Okay. Okay. I think number two is the Oreo. The first one was Newman's, and that third one was those Van Rip Van whatever's. You're really good at this. You got them all. Well. You got them all. The first one was Newman's own. The second one was Oreo. The third one, these taste like garbage. They're good. horrible. They're, they're bitter. horrible. They're very bitter. Who is buying these? Spanish people, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Those are made in Spain. Oh, they're made in Spain. Um, um. They're very, the Rip Van Leo's are very, very bitter. Mm -hmm. they're very, very bitter. They're not sweet at all. No. They they're almost taste earthy. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a horrible flavor. I would <laughs> never, ever know. Um, and I do think we, is that the brand we bought for another Blind Taste Test? And another one against Oreo? I don't, I don't remember. I think I did. I, I think remember. those had a golden version. Maybe. And I'm remember. thinking I bought those with golden Oreo right. and we just haven't tried them yet. Yeah. Well, now that we tried these, though, I know they're the size. <laughs> they're, um, they're very small. They, they are smaller. They're noticeably smaller. The, when I first ate the Newman, since that was the first one I ate, I thought texture-wise, and it does taste very similar to an Oreo. It's almost exactly the same texture-wise. Mm -hmm. But then once I tried the second one, it's like, no, nope, that's an Oreo, because you tasted that darker chocolate. Mm -hmm. The chocolate flavor was a lot stronger. The Newman's are good, but I don't think the flavor is as strong. I think the Newmans are very, very close though. They're similar. I really do. I just don't think, think the chocolate flavor stands out as much. It, I, it's, they're so close though, it's, it's hard to... If I was an really Oreo uh, lover, if I loved, if I bought Oreos all the time and my mom brought home Newman's own, I would be fine with it. Because yeah, I, oh yeah. I do think absolutely... Um, there, I think you would get used to it. Yeah. These, the Newman's own says made with organic flour and organic sugar. Yeah. So, and Oreo, they're big on the donating profits and all that stuff too. Right. So. Oreo doesn't doesn't say that about organic uh, mm. stuff. So if you, it, it says one hundred percent sustainably sourced cocoa is what it says. Yeah. So if that's something you care about, um, then you would get the Newman's own. For me, um. It's just your, I'm, I'm usually buying Oreos to either do this, do a video like this, or to make uh, like Oreo balls or something like Some that. Recipe. So for me, using them in a recipe, I'm going to buy what's cheaper. I mean, yeah. if you don't care about the organic stuff, why wouldn't you buy what's, what's so, cheaper? Well, I guess this, these are just slightly heavier than those. So it's, it's not like it's a huge no, difference it's so, in the it, size of the package. So. Truly, the flavor is so similar to yeah. me that it comes down to cost. And calories. Uh, yeah, the Newman Zone, why would you want, you're, you're literally eating 10 more, cal uh, 12. 12 more, 12 more calories a cookie if you eat the Newman's Own. Why would I want 12 more calories when I could just have an Oreo for 53? Yeah. And it, they do feel like the similar uh, Oh, the size. texture and everything. Yeah. yeah. But the difference between the, the Oreo and Newman's and the Lee, why, I mean, these are not even like... I hope Spanish people uh, don't think they're eating Oreo when they're eating those, because that's terrible. No, it's not. I did like the texture. The texture was nice and soft, but um, but I don't like. I didn't like the flavor. I'm 
I bet they have Oreo in Spain. I would think so. They have yeah. nowhere else. It, because once you've had the Oreo, you would never go back to these because they're just terrible. Yeah, so not good. yeah, and, and those were very expensive. Yeah, you can skip those. Six dollars. Yeah, well, you can absolutely skip them. So so is your favorite still then the Oreo? Yeah, it really it would depend on the cost though, because if the Newman's I do like the idea that Newman's gives the profits away, uh -huh. uh, which is a, a good thing, but as far as flavor goes, it really I mean, they're almost interchangeable. Yeah. I do think the orders are slightly better, though. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know if you've uh, tried the Newman Zone or <laughs> if you've tried these. Let us know what you thought. And thanks for watching.